so much for tuning into my channel. I hope you guys like that little dance introduction homage to Makoma. <laughs> anyway, today I wanted to talk to you guys about Makoma, which was a very popular group in Western Central Africa and I guess parts of Europe because that's where the group started in the early um, late 90s early 2000s. Makoma was uh, they were originally from from Congo but because of the civil unrest they lived in the Netherlands and then Belgium and then back to the Netherlands. The group was composed of five siblings and one uh, non-family member. A couple of their biggest hits were Napesi, um, Moto Oyo, and Mukonzi na Bakonzi, which was one, which was the song at the beginning. Natalie Makoma was like the highlight of the group. She was the lead singer. She had the most beautiful full voice, and she was pretty. And she had this big afro, and I just remember wanting to be Natalie Makoma when I grew up. It was very, <laughs> you know. I remember the first concert that I attended, it was the Makoma concert in Ivory Coast, I believe it was in 2002, and there was this part where um, at the concert they just let all the kids come to the stage and join them and I just ran and I gave Natalie Makoma like the biggest hug of my life. It was crazy epic moment. I think I was like 9 or 10. Anyway, my dreams were shattered when I realized that I couldn't become Natalie Makoma because one, I could not sing and and yeah two, I could not sing. I could not hold a note. It was very, very life shattering and I had to make a... Did it, I had to uh, change change my, my life plans, you know. But yeah, but I still love them. I still really love Natalie Makoma. Um, she was part of the Dutch Idols and she was also part of, uh, I think it was a Dutch version of Dancing with the Stars. The whole group was it was just a very good group. They sang in the I I mean I, I kind of kind of kind of like kind of became kind of like Natalie Makoma because she was a polyglot, I'm a polyglot. They used to sing in Lingala, in uh, Dutch, in German, and in French. I speak English, French, Spanish, Portuguese, <laughs> and I'm learning Lingala. We're basically the same thing. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I'm a Christian, she's a Christian. I wear a big afro, she wears a big afro. I have a nose piercing, she has a nose piercing, you know. Aside from the singing, I basically became Natalie Makoma. <laughs> but yeah, like I really, really loved that group um, when I was a when I was a kid. They were one of the main reasons why I decided to uh, learn Lingala when I grew up. Um, I'm currently, you guys know, um, I'm currently learning Lingala. I have to do an update video on that. I'm so sorry. But yeah, they were they were really good. Christian pop group made you want to dance, made you want to tune in. As you guys know, basically in the like 90s, early 2000s, that was the like boy band, girl band, band. There were like groups all across the world. So they they were part of that group that we look that we looked up to when I was living in Ivory Coast. Anyway, this was um yeah one of my favorite groups. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys want to know more about them you can obviously click on the links below and yeah i hope to see you guys in the next video